Imagine you're walking down the street and you see a coffee shop across the street you've never visited before. And to satisfy your caffeine addiction, you cross the street, you see the front of the shop, you open the door, you walk in. It's a bustling scene, there's lots of people, there's lots of sounds. And you walk up to the counter and there's a barista there named Rachel. And Rachel asks you, what can she get you? And you place your order, you get your drink, you drink it and you leave the shop. Now the next morning, you're again walking down the street and you're thinking, oh, that coffee was really great. You see the shop again, you approach, you open the door, you go in, it's the same kind of bustling scene. You walk towards the counter, you're expecting to see Rachel, but she's not there. Instead, this guy Mike pops up and Mike is very nice and he asks you, what would you like to order? And, and you order your drink and then you go on your way. What are the consequences of this for what you actually remember about these experiences? So our research shows that Essentially, when you met Rachel for the first time, the way that you stored your memory of Rachel was in the context of everything else you had experienced. So as you were approaching the shop, you saw the front of the building, you saw the door, you heard the scene, the bustling scene, you saw the counter. And so when you stored your memory of Rachel, it was embedded in all of those other aspects of your experience. Now, when you go back on the second day, you see those same cues again. You see the, the door and the counter and so on that causes your brain to automatically predict that you're going to see Rachel based on your prior experience. Your brain is kind of testing out its memory. And instead, even though you're predicting you're gonna see Rachel, you see Mike. What we showed in the study is, is that if you're predicting something and then that doesn't come to fruition and something else happens instead, that has the effect of weakening your memory on what you base that prediction. In effect, in this case, causing you to forget that you've ever met Rachel before.